guys, 247 back with another video. We're continuing our Dungan Rampa gameplay. Alright, let's continue. So, there's a lot that's been going on. Uh, if you didn't see the last episode, Mondo got executed. Uh, yeah, that's about it. We found all the evidence, and yeah, that's it. Laugh it, Deppin, your soul will forever be at peace. It can't be. My brother. Another murder, and another execution. I want to feel again. Everyone's lives are taken so lightly here. I feel like I might be going mad. Well... Maybe I'll just let it happen. Damn, Taka. Is this all you're gonna do now? As Taka's sad screams invaded our schools, we were forced to realize once again. But he, of course, had... he had to. <laughs> what a... what a disappointment. This is the end of the game? But Biakia? What is this? You're completely insane, you know that? A game? One of our friends is dead, do you realize that? Naturally. Of course I do, because this game is life or death. Hey. I don't have anything to say to you. I don't have a response, except However, that... However... I just don't understand why. Why did you go out your, on your way to disguise Mondo's crime? What? Why? <laughs> is it an obvious? Because it made things more interesting. His voice was calm, emotionless. Like the voice of his death. It chilled me to the bone. Yeah, so that trial didn't even have to be that long, but it was. Um, I think it was pretty good still. Like, really, really good. It made a lot of sense, had a lot of points I liked. I really liked the trial. <laughs> Last night, where the murder took place, I was in the library as usual. Honestly. So you ignored the nighttime rule too. <laughs> that rule never mattered to me. I don't recall any agreeing to it. There is nothing to be done. Well, I don't particularly care. Please continue. <laughs> the night grew late, and I decided to return to my room, which is when I stumbled upon him. I spotted Mondo coming out of the girls locker room after he'd gone I looked inside and saw the corpse what? What? what you mean you actually witnessed the murder well that's why on our body discovery uh, that's why the body discovery announcement went off when it was just me and Taka at the time later on <laughs> he was such a fool he didn't have the slightest idea that I'd seen him well so you're saying you knew who the culprit was from the very beginning? That's right. Indeed. But if it had been the end of it, how boring would that have been? I mean, what a waste of time to have the answer revealed right at the beginning. Damn, Biakia, you are just out of your mind, man. <laughs> Which is why I decided to lend a hel little helping hand. I thought it would li liven things up. You did all that to liven things up? I see. So, after hearing about Genocide Jack from Toko, you decided to use that. Yeah, probably. To create the fake murder scene? But... But damn, man. If we hadn't figured out who'd really done it, you would have been dead too, right? <laughs> well, obviously, I would have revealed the truth before it reached that point. Well, now we know Toko is Genocide Jill, so I really like that. <laughs> of course. Byakia turned and looked me in the eye. So what Byakia didn't do was totally not pointless. I could feel his sharp eyes piercing into me. <laughs> Thanks to a certain remarkable someone, it never did. And I was able to perform an interesting experiment. <laughs> interesting. Once I do decide to become blackened, I, know, I now know who I'll have to watch out for. Well? Correct. So that was your reason? <laughs> Are you satisfied? Indeed. Yes, we're done listening to your story. Moving on. Hey. There's something I'd like to ask Monokuma. What's this? Oh, I'm up next! <laughs> Monokuma. You. You like to perform these elaborate executions each time, correct? My question is, why? Poo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> -hoo -hoo. Do you like them? But you know, the punishment, this despair, it's not just for you. <laughs> All this punishment, all this despair, is my gift to mankind itself. <clears throat> my Monokuma voice is not that good today. What? You're over-exaggerating. I am not over-exaggerating. 
These punishments are meant to transform all hope to despair. Damn. What do you mean? Huh? Mean? Mean? Huh? Mean? What the heck? Mean, 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 mean. What? Good grief. I don't understand why you have to pick apart every little stupid thing. Hmm. Hmm. Whatever. It doesn't matter. In the end, I'm going to stand alone as the victor, and then everything will be revealed to me. Ooh, ah, the exciting. noble son. <clears throat> ah, the noble son of a noble family. Truly, you understand me. Boohoo! I think this is the start of a terrifying friendship. That's enough. Shut up! I would never stoop to the level of a childish criminal like you. Let me just say this: after I achieve complete victory, you're up next. <laughs> I'm going to find you and kill you, understand? In the name of my family. In the name of the Togami family, for which victory is a foregone conclusion. You're getting all rolled ooh, up! So, ooh, so cool! It's like you're the main character of a video game or something. No trash mob for you. No, Makoto is. <sighs> I swear, whatever it takes, I will kill you. Poo-hoo-hoo, <laughs> temper, temper! Sounds like someone needs a snack. <laughs> okay, Monokuma. Monokuma's laughter appealed across the courtroom, and the curtain closed on the case of Chihiro and Mondo. But I knew that wasn't the end. The killing game would still continue, because the mastermind wouldn't let it end. For those of us who were still alive, our worst fears and despair kept on multiplying. It was the kind of despair that, le that felt like a blind puppy in hell had more of a future than us. <clears throat> All of our courage, our effort, our friendship, it felt like it amounted to nothing at all. It was the worst kind of despair. Oh, well, what the hell? Anyway, like I was saying... Monokuma, what are you playing with? This is a pretty good spot. Yeah, a really good spot. Anyway, isn't it amazing how that girl went and killed someone before things even had a chance to get boring? Once things really get moving, it'll be like a roller coaster. There won't be any stopping it. Fear and despair charge forward at a speed nothing can hope to match. Is that the master run right there, the black and... But I must admit, I'm disappointed. I went to all the pain and effort of making you part of the group, and you couldn't play your part. You do remember you were supposed to make the first move, right? Well, no biggie. Nothing we can do about it now, so just do your best to make things more exciting from now on, okay? After all, that's what everyone wants to see. Why does it sound like Monokuma's trying to be a parent? There's one thing I'd like to ask you. As long as you don't want to know my measurements, fire away! Who is it? The 16th high school student, I mean... <laughs> my, my, you really took me by surprise there. I know I said you could ask anything, but... Super denied, ultra denied, demonic denied! Because you see, that's my ace in the hole. And nobody'd be dumb enough to reveal that, right? No matter how close they were to their... friends. <laughs> I don't get it. There we go, chapter two. Boy's Life of Despair, the end. Hiro and Mondo are gone. Who would be next? You received the crazy diamond present. Of course I want to save the data. Sniff. Sniff, sniff. What Are in the hell? Um. But. I've had enough. Owie, I don't need to see your. body. I can't take it anymore. Getting out of here anytime soon? It's impossible. 
I can't let myself think about how much I want to get out of here. If I keep thinking like that, I might decide to. Okay. Donuts. I need to eat some donuts. That'll cheer me up. Glazed donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream filled donut holes, ma malasadas. Okay. Oh god of donuts. I'm praying for a wonderful encounter. I don't. Ch chapter 3 right there. We're at chapter 3 right now. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. But right now, for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. What the hell? Oh shit, is someone gonna have an owie? Huh? What's that sound? Okay, that was... What is that? Hmm. It sounds like it's coming from the bathhouse. But... I'm super scared, but... Just go get your donuts, Owie. It is... Is someone there? <gasps> what the hell? Is that Chihiro? That's Chihiro. Or... It, it looks like it is. Chapter 3. A next generation legend. Stand tall, galactic hero. Daily life. Okay. I wonder who's gonna die this time. The morning after the conclusion of the second class trial. Everyone met up in the dining hall, just like always. And I expected it to start like any other day. That's what I expected, but... <sighs> today's count kinda sucks, huh? Toko and Byakuya still refuse to show up. Um... And I haven't seen Miss Asani uh, Asahina anywhere. Hmm. She said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room for today. Oh! That is rather unusual for her. Normally, she is so full of energy. Mm. Which is exactly what makes me worry. So then? So then, it's just the seven of us then. Looks that way. How about that? It's time like this where the committee chairman needs to get things going with a bang! Impossible! <laughs> Taka's freaking face. Or not. Taka hasn't said a word since everything that happened yesterday. Taka, your face just frozen or something? One look at his face. Showed he hadn't slept a wink last night. Must be because of Mondo. The two of them became so close and then he finds out Mondo killed Chihiro. And then having to watch Mondo get punished and nothing he could do about it. I can't even imagine what it must have done to him. So, I mean, what's gonna happen now? We haven't found any way out, and we have no idea if help's ever gonna come. <laughs> no, like... I'm, no, I'm all depressed just thinking about it. I'm starting to like Hifumi kind of more and more as a character, but not that much. <laughs> we simply have to make the best of things, do our best to get along, and live here together in peace. Forget about the outside world, and accept this new life. That is only hope we have now. What? To live here forever? Well... Here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, our every need is seen to. Why are you dissatisfied? <sighs> In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Is that okay? Okay. <clears throat> Competition, discrimination, victimization, and violence. As society grows, so does its perservate. Yeah, perser... Per... Vers... Shiz, yeah, per perversion. In which case is our current situation not? <laughs> what? Demon angel, pretty pudgy princess. Huh? Here we go. Maggie, the drill shop owner, the bunny-eared Amazon, cat girl, dog boy, Robo Justice, the Galactic King is talking about anime boy. In in What I mean is there's no 2D here. There is nothing to be done. The mastermind puts such base desire to their advantage, bending you to their will. You know? 
Okay, well, anyways, since Taka's life, Catonic. <laughs> As the oldest one here, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. You're the oldest one here? Wow. So we're all gonna work together and spend the rest of the day searching the school. Searching? I'm right, right? Well, I mean, since the class trial is over and all. Perhaps. There should be new places for us to investigate. Hmm. Yeah, that's the ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue this time. Well, then. Then, once we're done eating, let's split up and begin looking around. You have any problem with that, Celeste? <laughs> hmm, there well may be a discovery waiting for us, which may in further enrich our life here. Um... Er, no, the point is to look for clues. And just like that, we were all starting to come together. She barged in and ruined the conversation. You for me until I appear! I don't know the voice to use for her. What? Uh, nobody calls for you. Uh, um... What the? How come it's Genocide Jill, not Toko? Yes! God, this place is just a... God, this place is just amazing. Oh, finally a place I can just be my murderous self. Which is why I've decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. No more hiding in a cave for me. Uh -huh. Plus, I have another battle to fight. Yeah, I'll use this voice. The whole killer with a split personality thing is so overdone. I gotta destroy that stereotype. You SOB! I'll fight all day and all night to murder those totally slanderous cliches. Uh, um... But you are a killer with a split personality. <laughs> If she weren't here, my chances of survival would go up to at least 10%. Uh -huh. Come on, you gotta back me up here. Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up. <laughs> well, whatever else we do today, we, first we should eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. You're right, let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. <laughs> ah, she's just laughing now. So we were forced to eat breakfast with a murder, and after our much needed but a very annoying meal, we set to work looking around the school. Okay. All right, so we gotta look around the school. I wanna see what Owie was talking about. She was talking about the bathhouse, I think, so let's go there. I think she was talking about the bathhouse. Hello, anybody here? There it is. Lockers. Wait, what? What do you mean? Lockers. There's nothing out of the ordinary about that. Are you? There's an open locker. Stupid Makoto. Maybe here? Ah, uh, no, it's just the sauna. I don't think anybody's here, are they? No, no, let me exit, hold up. Where is everybody right now? Okay, go to the map. Where is Owie? I need to find Owie. Biakia, no. Yasi Hero, no. Where are you, Owie? You know what? Let's talk to Biakia. Why not? You're in boys. Yep. Hi, Biakia. Yep, that. Thank you, game. Yeah, nobody's at the pool. Didn't even need to go to the pool. What a waste of time. Biakia? What are you doing here, Biakia? Hm. Isn't it obvious I'm reading? Come on. I was hoping I wouldn't be bothered in a place like this. So sorry. Anyway, it looks like everything's been returned to normal here. Yep. The coffee stands on the carpet are gone, and the bikini model poster is back. It's just like with Sayaka. Monokuma must have done it. Okay. Are you gonna say the same things? Yep. Alright, there's nothing at the pool, so... Where do we go? I think we should just leave there. 
Oh my god, yes, Yuri, you scared the shit out of me. Alright. Could it be? Nothing's changed on this floor. Hmm. The only difference is the gate blocking the stair leads leading up to the third floor is gone. I guess that's where they want us to head up ne head next. I wonder what kind of crazy stuff is up there. Oh yeah, the third floor. I'm such an idiot. Where is the third floor though? Is it here? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, well guys, we're going to end it there and go ahead and explore the third floor on the next episode. I will see you all later. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Goodbye.